Hi, this is Ashwin from Circuit Digest and in this video I will show you how you can build your very own smart shopping cart. So this smart shopping cart will consist of a Raspberry Pi, a thermal printer and a barcode scanner and imagine all of this connected to your shopping cart and when you go for shopping you can scan the items before you drop it in your cart and the Raspberry Pi will uh, connect to the server and find the name of the product as well as the cost of the product and then as you continue your shopping uh, the display on your shopping cart will show the total number of items in your cart as well as the total value of your cart and then once you're done with shopping you can just uh, scan again and it will print a complete bill along with a QR code you can then scan this QR code make the payment and walk out of the shop without having to interact with anyone sounds very interesting right so let's see how we can build it so before we get into the video it's time to announce the winners for our previous giveaway if for those of you who remember we built this PCB based touch panel LED light and we told we'll be giving it away for three people who could tell a perfect application for this so the winners for that would be the first person's a uh, username is thpidk who told that he'll be using this to build smart mirrors and the second winner is 839 vignesh who told that he'll be using this along with an esp32 to build a ble based keyboard which is a pretty interesting idea if you ask me and then the third person would be arijit ghosh who told that he'll be using it for smart home projects so congrats to all the three winners these people will get the PCB along with all the components needed and a few more goodies from Circuit Digest. So again, congrats to all the winners. And if you want to participate in giveaways like this, do check out the link uh, which you can see over here. So that's it. In this video also, we'll be announcing a new giveaway at the end of this video. So stay tuned for it. Now let's get into the project. So here we have our complete setup in front of us. We have a Raspberry Pi inside this. You can see the graphical display over here, LCD display and a thermal printer and a barcode scanner over here. So imagine all of this is installed on our smart shopping cart. So let's say I want to purchase a product. Let's start with the legendary Palaji biscuit. So let's say I'm adding this to the cart. All I have to do is scan it first. As soon as I scan it, you can see that it says Parleji biscuit cost is 5 rupees since 30 years and then you can see the total cart value as well. So what happened here is that the Raspberry Pi got the value from this barcode, went to a Google Excel sheet, found the name of the product as well as the cost of the product and it displays it to us over here. Now let's quickly add one more item. Yeah. So as soon as I add another item, you can see it displays the name and the total values now updated to 15. Now let's say I want to purchase these uh, cotton buds. Same thing, just scan the QR code and you can see the item name, the cart value, everything gets updated. So that's it. I'm going to stop my shopping here. So what I will do is I'll just scan this barcode over here. It could have been a button, but I just used another barcode to indicate end of uh, shopping. So let me just scan that. As soon as I do it, you can say thanks for shopping with us and it is printing our invoice. So let's wait for the printer to print its invoice. So the invoice is printed now and I'm just going to remove this and you can see uh, we have our logo here. It says tax invoice and it says all the products which was just purchased. I'm not sure if you're able to read it, but it says the uh, three items which I just scanned. And in the end, it, it says, please uh, scan this to make the payment. So this is a UPI link. If you scan this, it will be a UPI link to your Google Pay or Phone Pay, and then you can pay the amount online and then you can check out of the shop. So uh, that's it. This is how the whole uh, project works. Now what I'll do is I'll open this setup and I will also explain the circuit diagram we have used to interface all these uh, devices and then i'll also quickly tell you how the program works so uh, just give me a minute i'll open this box and we'll start again okay now uh, here we are again uh, as you can see uh, there is the raspberry pi over here we have our graphical lcd over here and then our thermal printer over here so how the entire thing works is that the graphical lcd works on this uh, i2c module so we are just using i2c to send all the data and the power is coming through these two cables this is from a 5 volt adapter to power the raspberry pi and the lcd and this 
is a 9 volt adapter to power the thermal printer now thermal printers have different operating voltages the one that is shown here is a 9 volt thermal printer so we are using a 9 volt battery and then the barcode device uh, sorry the barcode scanner actually acts like a hid device meaning uh, you connect it to the usb port of your raspberry pi and whatever you scan it acts like a keyboard and it gives you all the text over there now again your barcode scanner can also work in rs232 mode your uh, uh, thermal printer can also work in RS-232 mode. So these two devices are not limited only to Raspberry Pi. You can use it with any microcontroller. The reason we have used it with Raspberry Pi is because after scanning the code, we have to fetch the value of the product from a server in our case an excel sheet so that is why we have used a raspberry pi over here now for the connections we have also given a circuit diagram to make things easy for you as you can see this is our thermal printer and it is connected to a 9 volt 1 amps adapter to power the entire thing and then it has four pins on the output side the first thing is uh, uh, ground and then RX and TX is connected to the TX and RX of the Raspberry Pi and then the other pin is also connected to ground as I told you the graphical LCD uses I2C module and hence it's connected to the I2C pins of Raspberry Pi the barcode scanner is directly connected to the USB now you can also take a look at this uh, table which clearly tells which pin is connected to what the RX pin of the thermal printer is connected to TX which is GPIO 14 and then the TX pin of thermal printer is connected to GPIO 15 the TDR pin or thermal printer is connected to ground and then the ground pin is connected to ground the barcode scanner is connected to the usb port and the 20 cross 4 lcd i2c module is connected to gpio 2 3 as you can see here and it is powered with the 5 volt now if you're completely new to thermal printers and barcode scanners do check out uh, the tutorial on how to interface thermal printer and barcode scanner with raspberry pi that will give you a good uh, introduction on how to get started with this now that is it for the circuit diagram of the project it is pretty much simple and for the code i am not going to explain it completely in this video because the code is pretty long and we have done a very good job in explaining it which you can find it uh, on our website so uh, there are some libraries which you have to download so it's better if you can refer to the documentation because it will be easy for you to add the libraries so basically what the code does is that it will look for the items scanned from the barcode it will fetch a value so uh, let's take a barcode for example in this barcode the numbers that you see here are the values that you will get out of it so this value is taken to an excel sheet where we have already hard coded the name of the product as well as the cost of the product so our raspberry pi will fetch the name and cost from there and then it will update it on the lcd and once you're finished shopping we will print it using this barcode scanner so that's it guys this is how the project works uh, thanks for watching now before i leave uh, as promised i'll be telling you about the giveaway for this video we will be giving away three of these thermal printers now uh, as you can see these thermal printers can easily be used with Arduino, raspberry pi as i just demonstrated pic microcontroller and any other microcontroller which supports rs232 or ttl communication so i personally believe there are a lot of fascinating applications for this thermal printer what do you think to participate in the giveaway you have to tell me exactly that just uh, get on to this link that you can see here it will be taking you to circuit digest you can fill your details and tell me where you will be using this thermal printers and and if your answer is good, we will select you as the winner and we'll be dispatching these things to you. Thank you. Have a nice day.